You probably heard hundreds of talks that bring some motivational examples, great jokes, and you might think that I will start with similar one. Unfortunately, this is not going to happen. I will start my talk as a typical computer scientist and describe the process of thinking that helps me to navigate in the modern world. You might have heard about Agile in IT. It's a process of continuous life cycle of improvement where failing is the norm and succeeding happens only after multiple rounds of trial and error. I want to discuss a few personal experiences that help me to understand that such process can be implemented in your life to be more flexible, open to change, and finally, more successful. Imagine a young professor at BCAT starting his first class. Yep, that's me. I was going to teach industry-sponsored student projects. It's a capstone project, great opportunity for students to get their hands dirty in applied context, for industry as well to get some proof of concepts at relatively low cost. We usually get 100, 150 submissions of projects. We meet as a committee. We select the ones that are most suitable for our program. I come to the class with perfectly shortlisted projects, hit the play button, we start the class, and things go off-road. There is lots of challenges, scope creep, sometimes communication issues, features that we think were designed perfectly are completely different. But this is okay. We are agile. We try to teach this to the students. Changes will happen often, and the final result will look completely different than what you expected. And most importantly, we say one important sentence to students. You probably heard it hundreds of times, but it is true. It is okay to fail. It is a process. Set yourself a direction and just continue to flow towards it. Embrace every single moment of this process. It is really okay to fail, but what's more important is to learn from it and own it. Adjust, improve, prototype, try different solutions in your life. Don't just design things in your head. Go out there and get your hands dirty in life. Remember, if you overthink the past, it's your ego speaking. If you think only about the future, you miss the entire show. Think about now and what cards life gave you. You need to play them, play the best game of your life every single day. Let's now talk a little bit about dreams. I used to play in the band. There was this great opportunity for young musicians called Coke Live Fresh Noise. Basically, we need to record a video, submit it to social media and get people to vote on it. Top 10 bands were then invited to play in a live audition in front of a panel of experts. And top three bands chosen after this audition were selected to play and open for Franz Ferdinand, Florence and the Machine, Muse, great bands, great names on one of the biggest European music festivals. We did get into top 10, we went there, we did our best, but we didn't get into top three. And first, I was thinking like, how come celebrities say, you know, you just go and grab your dreams, they're so close, everything will work out. How can they say this? It's not that easy. What do we miss? And I did replay all the performances that day, and I noticed that the top three bands have every single move almost like directed, everything perfectly planned. It made me think we need to meet as a team and come up with a plan almost like a checklist. A few months later, there was another opportunity and one of the biggest Polish rock bands announced the tour with the newly released album. And 
they said that they look for support, the band that will play in front of them, warm up the audience. And what we did differently, as mentioned, we came up with a plan and we did get it. Went for 12 concerts on big stages. It was great. So now, what's the key takeaway of this story? Maybe it's not the most novel thing, but you need to plan and organize things. Otherwise, your dreams will be very hard to follow. It's so simple as that, but we forget about it. It's like with agile process. You need to continuously think what small pieces you can improve in your life, in your performance, in your everyday job. Can you change something, reorganize, just plan better? Do it. Be agile in your life. Without good plan, dreams are very hard to follow and you will have a hard time to achieve them. The same story shares a few other points. Be creative, as simple as that. Stop setting yourself a mental ceiling. There are no limits. No one can tell you you can't do this. You can't achieve it. If they say so, they're just jealous. If you watch advertisements by Ryan Reynolds, or if you see, listen to some stories by Matthew McConaughey, they will all tell you, you all have it. It's your personal story that matters. Let your imagination drive you to the top. Think about all personal experiences that define you, personal stories. Open up, be yourself, be creative, and again, get dirty in the life, in the context of real applied settings. You have to try to see if it will work out. Final story, I promise. We'll do a small circle. I have always wanted to be in academia. I did my doctorate at a good school, Wrocław University of Science and Technology, and I really thought that I would stay there, teach, do research. Unfortunately, things didn't work out as I wanted. I was informed that there would be no offer for me to stay as an assistant professor which is kind of like a first step in academia. It was really sad to me. I needed to try something else, but I didn't want to. I had zero to none ambition to finish. I had still one year to complete my PhD and no motivation. On the other hand, I met a kind, great person in my life, currently my wife. She was visiting her grandparents in Poland, but she was living in Canada. I decided to visit her and applied for one year visitor assistant scholarship at SFU. It's like a post, it's like a co-op for PhD students. And I got it. At the beginning, it was not that easy. New country, new people, knowing just her and her sister. I'm not a native speaker. I make plenty of language mistakes. But during my internship, I applied to BCT, got the position and here I am. Happily married with two kids, a secure job at BCAT, and position of visiting associate professor at Northeastern University. So the key takeaway of it is sometimes it's very hard, but you need to understand that things always happen for a reason. And things happen for a reason and always wait for the positive while continuing to do your job. So here we are. The entire presentation was supposed to be about focus, but someone can say, I didn't say the word focus a single time. Let's see one final thing, I promise. Fail, organize, create, understand, strive. This is just acronym. This is a process, like in Agile. For me, focus is the word and call to action. Think about the steps you will take. We are all in the same boat. The world is a crazy beast. It can be beautiful, dangerous, wild. But you can focus by looking at your own life and learning from it. No one will tell you how it will play out. You will hear some great advice on what to do, but the greatest lesson is just life itself. Don't worry about failing. Think about it. How would your life look different if you would see failing as the norm and succeeding as the exception?